Hey what's up guys, Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews and today I'm going to be reviewing a brand new powerful smartwatch which can handle full Android games and apps including YouTube and Showbox. So stay tuned for the review. So this is the Lempho LES1 smartwatch. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So this has an AMOLED 1.39 inch screen with a resolution of 400 by 400. The CPU is a quad core MTK 6580 running at 1.3 gigahertz. You've got one gigabyte of DDR3 RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage. You've got a built in two megapixel camera. You've got Bluetooth version four, GPS, Wi-Fi BGN, and a 3G nano SIM card slot. You've also got a built-in heart rate monitor and pedometer, and this is running Android version 5.1. So let's get the box open and see what it looks like. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with the instruction manual. You've got a screwdriver to open the SIM card tray. This is a charging plate which clips on to the back of the watch and I'll show you that working in a bit. Okay, this came with two micro USB cables. So you've got a braided extra strong micro USB cable and you've got your regular one as well. So you have a choice there. That's quite nice. And last but not least, the actual smartwatch. I'm just going to peel off this uh, sticker. Wow. What an amazing looking watch. This watch looks so nice. This is an AMOLED screen on top. Straight away I'll show you. You've got a camera there and you've got a button. Okay, if we keep going around, um, you've got what appears to be a speaker on this side and underneath you've got the heart rate monitor. Okay, that's the charger pins and here is the SIM card tray. So before we turn anything on, I just want to quickly show you the SIM card tray. So you've got a screwdriver here. You've got a tiny screwdriver which will allow you to take that screw off. That screw is tiny. Okay, now with the same screwdriver you should be able to just yeah, pull that off. And if I come closer there you can see you've got a nano sim card slot so let's put that back on now um, if I quickly show you the charging plate so there's the charging plate so to charge your device all you do is get this and fix it on just like that it's like a magnet connection and it's really 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 cool and I really like that it connects on like a magnet so you don't need to worry about aligning anything it works really well so this is the power button if we keep the power button pressed you'll feel a vibration and then you'll be greeted with this intro wow this 1.39 inch AMOLED screen looks amazing. Um, very vibrant colors. The screen is beautiful, I have to say that. So this is the default watch face you get when you first uh, turn the watch on. If you want to change the default watch face, all you do is keep the center pressed, you'll feel a vibration, and then you can select from all of these. And there are a lot to choose from. You've got quite a good selection of watch faces there. Some I've seen before, some I've never seen. You're spoiled for choice here with with them um, watch faces. So I'm just going to select one to see what it looks like. Let's have a look at this one. Look at that. Look at the seconds. I love that. That's such an awesome effect. And you've got the date in words, which is awesome. I like this one. I, I'm going to keep this one on. Let's try another one just to quickly show you what to expect. How easy is that to change the watch face? I love that. Let's look at that. Very nice bright screen, I must say. Let's try this one out. 
lovely okay the one I really like at the moment straight away is this one just because it's got the seconds and uh, the date written in words I really like that that's awesome click on the plus sign and here they are so these are all additional watch faces that you can download and there's uh, there's quite a few here there's like a never-ending supply of watch faces here so this is the first smartwatch I've ever used that actually has a 16 gigabyte of internal storage okay and of course this amazing AMOLED display you also got a quad core processor in a watch that's that's just amazing this is like this is like specs of a tablet but in a watch so I'm quite impressed with that and as you can see it looks really nice on on the on the wrist so if I quickly show you the menu options if you slide to the left you have got your notifications if you slide to your right you've got all your menu options so starting from the top I'm going to quickly skim through all of these to show you what to expect so if we go to contacts so I haven't signed in connected to the internet or even put a sim card in so there's no contacts so let's go back click on phone and you've got a dialer there and it's very responsive as you can see and you'll be able to dial out just go back messaging that's your that's your SMS or text messaging and you'll be able to write your text messages read them and you can send them and it works really well so let's go back again settings a quick look at settings you got sound you can set your ringtone so let's, let's hear a few of these yeah I'll go for that one so you've got so many ringtones there I just chose anything you can change your notification sounds you can turn vibration on and off I'll turn it on and let's go back that was sound now this is display brightness level wow so that's that so we're only at halfway brightness and I thought the screen was really bright so let's turn it up and see what happens so that's the brightness level on max I'll put it right down and you can see that's still good enough you, you can still uh, do everything on it so this was the default it was on a uh, medium so yeah I'm well impressed with the brightness level these are all the options you got sleep app font sizes okay let's go back app list style okay keep going connect so we can connect via Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, airplane mode. You can turn GPS on and off. Um, I'll just do it on. I'll say agree. I'll say yes. And I keep it high accuracy. So pretty neat. And this is where you'll be able to connect with Wi-Fi. Uh, you can turn Wi-Fi on and off here. So let's go back. So that's connect. You've got mobile assist here. Please scan the picture to download the mobile assist app so um, you've got gesture here let's turn on screen on raising so I've activated gesture so when you make a gesture with your hand like you want to see the time you see the time will briefly turn on so that's what that gesture thing does if I go back now to settings uh, you got power saving mode so you can you can turn off various uh, power saving options there which is cool let's go back you've got language and input you can change the language um, and I know you've got so many different languages you can change to um, literally all of them are there that you can think of alright so let's go back I'll leave it on English okay and these are the rest of the options you got including text support date and time it can do it automatically based on when you connect to Wi-Fi or you put your SIM card in it will automatically change the date and time for you so that's cool you got reset equipment uninstall applications and about if I click on about you can see Android 5.1 and also you have got the opportunity to update if there is an update available so that's fine let's go back out you got remote capture let's try that out shall we so there you go my iPhone camera is on at the moment 
and it's focused on this keyboard okay and I can take those pictures with this watch see and you can hear it so that's what remote camera does so let's quickly have a look at the browser we just open up Google and there you go you got Google here let's try and open a different site let's try and open YouTube on the watch and see if it works I'm not expecting it to work but let's see so I've got a little mobile version of YouTube here let's just click any video here and see if it wants to play just how deep does wow the ocean go? I'm amazed if you took the highest point I'm gonna close this because that's not my video and I don't want to get in trouble for that so that was the web browser and you can actually play YouTube from it so that was quite impressive I wasn't expecting that to work okay we got calendar nice clock so you can set your alarms here or you can add a clock etc and you got a stopwatch there you just click on that to start and stop and you can reset it from there okay so that's your alarms clocks and stopwatches you've got a camera that's built in there so this is the camera that's actually built in all right so I'll take a picture and I'll show you the samples Okay, I've taken two pictures I'll take a bit of video now just to show you what the video quality is like all right that's it you've just seen the samples for the camera uh, it's a reasonably good quality you can take clear pictures and videos with this camera here built in all right, then you've got gallery, so you can actually view the pictures and videos you've taken, which I think is brilliant. That's great. And you can hear it as well, because you've got a speaker on the side, you can see your pictures. So that's awesome, let's go back. You've got music. I've added a few songs just to show you guys um, how it sounds. So you've got your music, you've got your album art at the back and you've got your volume control as well you've got 16 gigabytes of storage in here so you can store thousands of mp3s on here and it's really good the sound quality is actually superb okay yeah. so this is a remote control here for your music so what you do is when you open this, this now becomes a remote control for the music stored on your iPhone. So when I press play, it's playing the music directly on my iPhone. You can hear the music and you're able to control it. You can turn the volume, you can turn the volume down. You can skip tracks and pause. Okay, so that's another great feature there. Let's move on. You've got sound recorder. So you can very quickly, you can just like a spy, just start recording a conversation in the room, um, like I'm recording right now. And you've got internal storage there, so you don't need to worry about running out of space. You've got 16 gigs. All right, so if I press done, I can I have the option now to save the recording. I'll click save, and it says save succeeded. All right, now if you click it down there, here's the recording list. It saves it there with the date stamp and time, so you know exactly what you recorded and when. And you can play it back yeah so that's an amazing feature and it works really well sound recorder so let's go back you've got file manager here and it will tell you how much space you've got it says available 12 gigs I haven't done I haven't installed anything on here so from 16 gigs you have an available 12 to play with so let's go back you have got find me we've already tried that you've got health now I'm interested in health a lot. I, like, I love to go running. I love to track my fitness. So this is not just a smartwatch. It's a fitness tracker built in. So you've got a heart rate monitor. So if you watch this, the heart rate monitor, I put it on my wrist and this is going to calculate your heartbeat. So there you have it. That's my heart rate right now. So let's back out of there. You've got a pedometer which will track your steps in real time. And it will also tell you um, how fast you're walking. All right, so let's go back. You've got the weather. So if we go back out, you've got voice search and the Google Play Store and Maps. So let's open up Google Maps. So you've got built-in GPS in this. It's found my location and it's brought it up. 
okay which is quite neat so yeah you can probably zoom in yeah works great okay so from here you'll be able to um, search for a direction so you can write your location and you can search for whatever you like um, and it will give you directions and it's uh, giving you maps if I click on here press accept it will now give me I've activated the sat nav now so now I'll get turn by turn directions on how to get to my location so that is brilliant I thought it's just going to be a basic Google Maps on here but no you've got the full Google Maps experience and the navigation part as well which is just awesome I want to quickly show you the Play Store so this is the Google Play Store and you've got a whole bunch of apps now what I want to know is can you install any app would it actually work on this watch so say I love Super Mario Run so let's install Super Mario Run that's installed let's try opening it yeah I'm quite surprised at that that you're able to play a full Android game on this so when you successfully install an app from the Google Play Store you get this message Crossy Road successfully installed so there you go I just installed three apps and they're at the bottom of the menu I installed YouTube Mario Run and Crossy Road so I'm going to quickly check out Crossy Road because I really like playing that game um, it's, it's just a simple game it's really easy to play and you can play it anywhere you like and you don't even need the internet to play it so let's see how this would play on this watch uh -huh. <laughs> yeah very responsive all right i've actually managed to install cody on this so check this out so i mean i'm not going to be watching movies and tv shows on here but if you can see I was able to install um, Showbox, Solid Streams, Kodi, all third third party applications just work. If I open up Kodi, just to show you what it's going to look like, it's pretty fast as well. So you can effectively put a build on here and watch um, TV shows and movies. Um, it's not something that I would want to do because the screen is quite small, but but it handles it. You've got the option. So I'm quite amazed by that Kodi works on this. You've also got Solid Streams and Showbox. So here's Showbox. Um, it works, you know, it's surprising, but it works. Here's Showbox. I mean, I can play a trailer. Let's try playing a trailer. So there you go. I connected this up via USB to my PC and I just transferred some of these third party apps and they installed straight away and as you just saw the streaming apps work absolutely fine. I don't think I could watch a movie on this but I don't mind watching a trailer or a quick YouTube video. So let's come out of the app and now let's go to YouTube. I just installed YouTube and I'm quite eager to see how this works. So if I go into my YouTube channel and play one of my videos, let's see how it looks. The both words, the TV tuners are great. And the only thing I'd like to mention is you can't use both. T you can press it and it's a light LED light. On the front, you, you guys can have a quick read. So this has the S912 Octocore. So another thing I want to show you is when you just slide down from the top, you get the date, time, it'll tell you what SIM card you've got in if you haven't already. It will tell you your connections, your time and your battery that you have left. Then if you go to the right, so you have these uh, simple shortcuts so you can turn Wi-Fi, Bluetooth on and off. You can go into airplane mode very quickly from here and screen vibrations. You'll get your shortcut to your pedometer, your steps. 
so there you have it guys that was the Lenfo LES1 smartwatch my opinion on this smartwatch this is an amazing smartwatch I've used and reviewed quite a few different smartwatches and smart pedometers and stuff like that but I have to say this is an all-in-one device um, it has surprised me that you can run full version of Android games and apps on this and and they work great this has played um, some basic games that I've tried um, and apps like YouTube and they work really good you got Google Maps on here and you got a navigation system so this is technically a sat nav there's a, there's so much you can do on this watch and I'm very surprised to how good it is you've got a camera on here which is only two megapixels but takes very decent and clear photos so this smartwatch is an all-in-one you don't need a separate pedometer uh, or a heart rate monitor when this does everything okay so an all-round amazing smartwatch but here's the best part okay you saw how, you've seen what this watch can do but this watch is actually on sale at the moment you can pick this watch up for an amazing 82 pounds so this sale is on for only a short period um, so if you are interested in grabbing this watch or if you were looking to buy this watch I would highly recommend for you to pick this up at this really low low rate so the special offer is on right now um, so what I'll do is I'll put the links in in the description so you guys can check this item out and if you like it you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day